Hello, my name is Christine Chage and I'll be taking you through how to add a repeat question using ArcG7123 Connect. So this form is basically going to collect staff information. So for our first question, it's going to be an integer type. So we select integer and then for the name, it's going to be um, number of staff and then for the label let's put number of staff and then when this is where we're going to add our repeat question so we are going to collect information for the number inputs uh, in the previous question so it's going to we're going to select uh, begin repeat And then the name is going to be uh, staff information, sorry, staff info. And then the name is going to be staff information. And then, uh, so this is where we add our our repeat. So we go to repeat count and then we are going to reference the above question and this is how you do it you use a dollar sign and then curly braces and then we call the question number of staff like that and then we now add our question. So for the first one, I'd want to know the staff name. So it's going to be an integer and then uh, let's call it name. And then for the label, uh, staff name or name of staff, name of staff sounds better. And then the other one, it's going to be of integer type where I don't want to know the staff number. So it's going to be staff number or it could be even staff ID. So, okay, um, say uh, staff ID. And this could also change to staff ID. Yes. Yes, and then the other one, I do want to know the location of that staff. So we can just capture his or her location. Let's pick a geo point. And then it's going to be location. And then let's call it location. And then we can end our repeats. So we just select and repeat and repeat and then we can change our title to staff information and then we can save our form. Then we can counter check on ArcG7123 connect whether a form functions as we wanted. So we can input the number of staff, let's say we want to collect info for two staff members and then when we click enter, it's going to opt us to fill in a form for two staff members. So we can call this person John And then maybe staff ID, let's call it 432, 4321, and then let it pick a location. And then we can go, to, we can click the next arrow and then fill in for another staff member. You can call, it, call her Mary and her staff ID. 
and then her location and then uh, okay say data values are valid then click okay yes so we've just submitted our form and then we can publish it and you and share the form thank you